Chapter 24, Section 1, Introduction Franklin D. Roosevelt came from a wealthy New York family. He grew up on a large estate overlooking the Hudson River and attended exclusive private schools, including Harvard College. During his youth, Franklin had little contact with working-class Americans, except perhaps his parents' servants. When Franklin fell in love with Eleanor Roosevelt, a distant cousin, she broadened his awareness. Eleanor had been taught that the wealthy have a duty to help the poor. She acted on this duty by working to improve conditions in factories and sweatshops and teaching immigrants at a settlement house in New York City. One day in 1903, while Franklin was still a college student, Eleanor took him to the home of one of her young pupils. The girl lived in a tenement in a poor neighborhood, and the dark, crowded home shocked Franklin. He declared that he could not believe human beings lived that way. That day, Franklin Roosevelt opened his eyes to the harsh reality of life for the poorest Americans. In the following years, Roosevelt became a skillful politician. Serving as Assistant Secretary of the Navy and as Governor of New York, he earned a reputation for being someone who could get the job done. Spurred on by his memory of how the poor lived, he pushed for social and economic reforms. In the 1932 presidential election, Roosevelt stormed to victory in part because he promised to help the working men and women whose labor energized the American economy. He vowed to defeat the Great Depression by relying on plans that build from the bottom up and not from the top down. That put their faith once more in the forgotten man at the bottom of the economic pyramid. FDR was elected to four terms as president. During the first two terms, his New Deal programs gave hope to millions of Americans, and he worked to find jobs for the unemployed and urged Congress to do more for those in need. In the process, he changed the role of government in American life.